Hi Samak, my name is Gerald, and today I would like to talk to you about the research conducted by the Macadamia Protection Program on white root rot on South African macadamias. Rosalinia negatrix is a fungus that causes white root rot disease in a variety of fruit and ornamental trees, especially in avocado, apple and pear orchards. The fungus is spread through contact with diseased root material, leading to a higher risk of spreading in densely populated orchards. Symptoms of Rosalinia necotrix infection are often indistinguishable from other common root pathogens such as Phytophthora cinnamomai. Root symptoms include the presence of white, cotton-like growth on affected roots as well as formation of white mycelial fans between the bark and wood. Brown discoloration of the roots, general rot throughout the tree and death occurs during the final stages of infection. Aerial symptoms may manifest rapidly or progressively but are characterized by wilting and dying of leaves, leading to tree death. Infected trees subjected to stress may exhibit signs of slow growth, loss of foliage, and dieback of branches. Rosalinia negatrix was first detected on South African macadamias in 2019. We screened root samples from farms in Limpopo and in Pumalanga, and the pathogen was found to not be widespread. A pathogenicity study was conducted on Beaumont trees to better understand the progression of disease symptoms in macadamias. Root symptoms were observed four weeks post-inoculation with aerial symptoms only being observed six weeks after inoculation. In conclusion, Rosalinia necotrix is not currently thought to be prevalent in South African macadamia orchards, but the fungus has been confirmed to be pathogenic towards macadamias and thus large-scale infections could potentially lead to economic damage. Currently, there are no registered chemical control options for white root rot, and we would thus advise farmers to practice good orchard management in response to white root rot infection. Removal of dead organic material and infected soil from orchards, as well as thorough cleaning of machinery after use in orchard blocks affected by white root rot, should minimize the spread of the pathogen. When replanting seedlings, care should be taken not to place them into spaces left by trees killed by white root rot. We would also recommend continued monitoring of orchards for presence of the symptoms associated with white root rot. This includes the submission of properly sealed diseased root samples to the disease diagnostic clinic. Care should also be taken not to mix different parts of a disease tree, such as stems and roots, when bagging. The submission of samples showing symptoms should proceed as quickly as possible to ensure samples are not overgrown with secondary pathogens that will greatly reduce the odds of determining the actual cause of death. We would just like to express our gratitude towards the farmers involved in this study for providing samples for screening purposes, as well as the Fabi Disease Diagnostic Clinic for helping the screening, screening process.